Now, Nation, without further ado, we will jump right into it. Dr. Carlin Cooper, who is an affiliate of Vibes Cartel, came out in an article the other day basically stating that 10 years on after the U.L. lecture, she's still being vilified by people. Why though? Why? Why is this woman being vilified? Just because she invited Vibes Cartel to come to a lecture at the university, so Vibes Cartel and somebody of status and character. Why am I tell you no? Well, anyways, guys, everybody remember that famous, famous, not even famous, that infamous lecture that Cartel, you see me, I say, went and gave at the University of the West Indies. You see me, I say, and Dr. Carlin Cooper, actually, she was the one who organized the whole lecture. And she said the reason why she even did it in the first place, she says she, um, her students who were avid listeners of Vibes Cartel, you see me, I say, made her start listening to cartel songs, you know and I mean because she do reggae poetry. You see me I say and them enrolling a people like Peter Tash, Bob Marley, you don't know, Jimmy Cliff, Burning Spears, reggae legends. You see me I say? So you don't know the students were like basically saying, Warm to cartel and she was like, Boy, cartel is of a different generation and cartel is in the dance hall segment. So they must say, what's the difference between reggae and dance hall? So she basically break it down into syllables and make them understand but she was you know really looking into it started listening to Carter's lyrics and you know she got a bit intrigued by this young man so she was like all right since as i can't really get them to put it on the, 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 the course that the students can you know what i mean know more about vibes cartel why not bring vibes cartel in for a lecture and see what can go on and people it was a success and even though a lot of people were saying that cartel, you know what I mean, dodged a few questions and stuff like that. I think he handled it and handled himself pretty well. You dig me I say, guys? Pretty well. And cartel is locked away, fighting for his freedom, but freedom is a must. But even though Vibes Cartel is fighting for his freedom, and freedom is a must, I repeat, you see how oh, People just hate Vibes Cartel. Even the affiliates of Vibes Cartel are being vilified. No, this woman is doing her job. She's doing her job. And matters not what you want to say. Vibes Cartel is a part of our society. He's a part of our dance hall industry. He's a part of Jamaica. Cartel in every household. He may be not there. He, he may be not there in a flesh. But he's there in spirit. Because his music... His voice, it's ringing through the streets of Jamaica. Whether the urban part or the rural part, Vibes Cartel is known. Everybody know Vibes Cartel, down to the old woman know Vibes Cartel. If she don't know Cartel name, she know the song them. And can't tell her, say, you know me like that one there? Because everybody has a favorite Cartel, even the haters them. Cartel himself, Cartel himself said it. Love him or hate him, you are a fan of Vibes Cartel. You understand? And this is why I keep on emphasizing on this. Guys, relevancy in dance hall is a major factor. Because dance hall is a fast paced, fast moving genre. You know what I mean? If you notice, a lot of songs that we used to hear in 09, 2010, 11, when we, we done with them song, we don't listen back them song, you see people in other Caribbean countries, other sections of the world, those songs are still being played, those songs are still being bought on, on, on vinyl and, and even on iTunes and they are still being streamed because those songs are like, you know what I mean, ground-rooted songs. But in Jamaica now, you don't know, it's a fast-paced, fast-moving thing. So, uh, you know, each week a different, a different hat a comp on the scene and you have to be moving fast and fast because a man will take your spot. No, cartel, cartel, me I show you brother the man change the course of the game brother, you understand cause cartel still relevant from 2000 till now, look how much entertainers we say come and fade away, I, if, if, if I call name brother, I the whole of the rest of vlog me I got to talk to, by calling names, the amount of artists will rise, as some artists where them say with a bus, before cartel 
still get the bus and couldn't maintain the bus and cartel get the bus and remember me tell her till the man bring him you brother the man yo yo brother that's why mr gaza you know and that's why cartel have so much fans you know because he never let us down and him never sees for me all right i want to tell us i can tell us something nothing where cartel do not surprise me nothing where vibes cartel do not surprise me because everything where vibes cartel do is 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 thought out it's very it's it's very thought out you know what i mean everything where cartel do so the naysayers and the haters and the undercover fans of vibes cartel please cease and desist from hating on miss carolyn cooper she's doing her job and she's a female yes he's a woman you know what i mean so oh my god man stop treat the woman so bitter even though it's not a problem to her she now make it be a big deal because she's a lecturer like why is she even going to look at some little punks and fools when i have no value for themselves and really dignify their comment when she already has her bankroll if you know me I mean this woman is well paid she's a lecturer at the university no for them can't even pass you a guard gate it didn't give me a figure in upon the premises, so why should she dignify them? But she just goes to show you that even though she just it just goes to show you that even though she did do something like that for her students, she's still getting a backlash ten years after. And it just goes to show you the the, the, the influence and the magnitude of hate that encircles vibes cartel. But with all of that. He remains fearless. And that's why I respect him. Vibes Cartel really learned a lot from his, his parents because obviously his parents were some strong individuals in front of him. And him emulate what he say. You don't know your father and your mother have to be strong in front of you as the kids. They're not going to really make, you know? They're not going to make you see them break. They all break, you know, but they're not going to make you as the kids see it. So I guess Cartel see him father and his mother as two strong individuals. They were really pretty strong around him. And him just emulate that. Just as him say him see him uncle them in the yard and him say, boy, I wish I could have been like them. Him becomes even better than them. And if they are still around, I'm not sure if they are around, but even if them is around right now, me know them and say, boy, boy, Adi, you really, you really make up proud. Because they were aspiring DJs, but they never boss. But he got the boss and him still I maintain it. And as I said, he might bring him kids them into music. That's why they hate him so, you know, because he is the new millennium Bob Marley. Yes, there I said it. He's the new millennium Bob Marley. So, hate him or love him. You have to give him props and you have to accept. So, listen to me. Without Vibes Cartel, Dance Hall would never be Dance Hall. Remember me tell you, the man changed the course of history. The man changed the course of dance hall and the man take it to a different plateau. Or might I say, mountain. And Vibes Cartel train his faction in a manner that even if he's not around them, they can pass on his teachings to, to other people. Like how Popcorn bus quad of them, Jaffras and them youth there, I saw Cartel it bus Popcorn too. They gave me also him, him, him pass on the, 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 the teachings there to Popcorn and Papi just. You know what I mean? He just goes to show you, say, listen me, Cartel did build for this. That's why I tell you, say, you see, when me hear born for this album, first thing me say, finally, Dance Hall has been revived. Anyways, guys. If you have anything to say about the topic, please feel free to leave it in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. Gaza Nation, run out, panda, one ya. Nah, play with it. Nah, play with it. See me, I say, like up the video, share up the video. You don't know. As me say, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you, you think. Okay, guys? But Gaza Nation, nah, I tell no lie still. I am really proud of Vibes Cartel. And me now stop advocate for Vibes Cartel freedom because Vibes Cartel is innocent and he was wrongfully accused. And I society I do everything for bench him, but them can't shut out a hero or them can't shut out a wizard. Is what I say? Yeah, one of them thing there. So guys, this is where I'm going to end the update. So until the next time and the next topic.
I'm all.